First on five, it's election day in Alabama. People going to the polls to vote for president, senator, congressman, and other state and local offices. Alabama Secretary of State says today could set a record turnout for a presidential primary. News 5's Peter Albrecht takes a look. Many polling places were busy today, and many people there say they came to vote for Donald Trump. This country needs a change, and politicians haven't made it. Uh, in fact, they've destroyed the country, and that's what we have to have. We have to have change. While Trump may have been driving many to the polls on the right, Bernie Sanders may have been doing the same on the left. Because of his stance on big business and uh, fairness and government, fairness and um, justice system. There are a record number of people registered to vote now in Alabama, about 3 million people, thanks in part to it being easier than ever to register. For the first time this year, Alabamians could register online, and more than 60,000 people did so. Uh, I voted for Rubio. Hillary Clinton. Whoever people were voting for today, they could also feel like their candidate still has a chance. That hasn't always been the case. From 1992 through 2004, Alabama's presidential primaries were held in June when the races were already decided. Turnout dropped every cycle until 2008 when Alabama went back to voting on Super Tuesday and 42 percent turned out. Out. In 2012, Alabama voted one week after Super Tuesday, and with no race on the Democratic side, turnout dropped significantly from four years earlier. So, being a part of Super Tuesday, out-of-the-box candidates, and easier access to registration, it may all be driving high turnout. But at least some voters today told us they cast their ballots reluctantly. I'd like to have voted for none of the above, but unfortunately I had to vote for somebody. And maybe that's the real secret to having high turnout, having a none of the above option on the ballot. Election officials in Baldwin County, Mobile County, and across the state reporting brisk turnout today. We won't know until later tonight if the final figure approaches or sets any record. And remember, polls are open for about another 55 minutes. Live in the newsroom, Peter Albrecht, News 5.